What is up guys and welcome back to the channel and in today's video we'll be discussing one of the most controversial topics in college football, who is the greatest college quarterback of all time. While there are many candidates for this title, in this video we'll be making the case for Tim Tebow, the former quarterback for the University of Florida Gators. Tim Tebow's football career began in high school where he led Nice to an undefeated record and its first state championship. He then went on to attend the University of Florida where he became a legend. Tim Tebow's freshman season took place in 2006 where he played quarterback for the University of Florida Gators. He was part of a talented team that included players like Chris Leak, Percy Harvin, and Brandon James. Tebow initially played a backup role behind Leak, but he quickly made an impact with his running ability and toughness. He finished the season with 469 rushing yards and 8 rushing touchdowns, often bulldozing defenders with his 6'3", 240-pound frame. Tebow also threw for 358 yards and 5 touchdowns, and he became known for his ability to come in and spark the offense in key situations. He was particularly effective in short yardage situations, where his running ability made him almost impossible to stop. The Gator finished the regular season with a 10-2 record and earned a spot in the BCS championship game against the Ohio State Buckeyes. Tebow played a key role in the game, scoring a touchdown and throwing for another as the Gators won 41-14 to capture their second national championship in school history. As you can see, Tebow made an immediate impact. Tim Tebow's sophomore season took place in 2007 and it was a year that solidified his status as one of the best players in college football. As the starting quarterback for the Florida Gators, Tebow put up impressive numbers all season long. He threw for 3,286 yards and 32 touchdowns while also rushing for 895 yards and 23 touchdowns. This made him the first player ever to pass and rush for more than 20 touchdowns in a single season. His combination of passing and running skills made him a dual-threat quarterback that was nearly impossible to stop. Tebow's performance in the Gators' biggest games were particularly noteworthy. In a key matchup against the Tennessee Volunteers, he led a fourth-quarter comeback to give Florida the win. He also led the team to a victory over the top-ranked LSU Tigers, throwing for three touchdowns and rushing for two more. Tebow's leadership and toughness were also on display throughout the season. In the game against the Kentucky Wildcats, he suffered a serious injury that caused him to miss significant playing time. However, he returned to the field just two weeks later and helped the Gators to a win over the Georgia Bulldogs. The Gators finished the regular season with a 9-3 record and earned a spot in the Capital One Bowl, where they faced the Michigan Wolverines. Tebow once again put on a show, throwing for 373 yards and four touchdowns as the Gators won 41-35. Tebow's sophomore season earned him numerous accolades, including the Heisman Trophy, which he became the first sophomore to win in college football history. Tim Tebow's junior season took place in 2008, and it was another dominant year for the star quarterback of the Florida Gators. Tebow continued to impress with his combination of passing and running skills, throwing for 2,746 yards and 30 touchdowns, while also rushing for 673 yards and 12 touchdowns. One of Tebow's most memorable games of the season came against the LSU Tigers, who were ranked number four in the nation at the time. Tebow threw for 201 yards and two touchdowns, while also rushing for 50 yards and a touchdown as the Gators won 51-21. But Tebow's biggest game of the season came in the SEC Championship game against the Alabama Crimson Tide. The game was billed as a showdown between Tebow and Alabama's Heisman Trophy winning running back, Mark Ingram. But it was Tebow who stole the show. He threw for 216 yards and three touchdowns and rushed for 57 yards and a touchdown as the Gators won 31-20. Florida finished with the regular season record of 12-1 and earned a spot in the BTS Championship game against Oklahoma Sooners. Tebow once again delivered in the biggest game of the season, throwing for 231 yards and two touchdowns and rushing for 109 yards and a touchdown at the Gators won 24-14 to capture their second national championship in three years. Tebow's junior season earned him numerous accolades, including his second SEC Player of the Year award and his second straight first-team All-American selection. He was also finished third in Heisman Trophy voting behind Alabama's Ingram and Stanford's Toby Gerhardt. Overall, it was an incredible season for Tebow. Tim Tebow's senior season took place in 2009, and it was a bittersweet year for the star quarterback of the Florida Gators. Tebow once again put up impressive numbers, throwing for 2,895 yards and 21 touchdowns, while also rushing for 910 yards and 14 touchdowns. He continued to show off his dual threat abilities, and he was still one of the most dynamic players in the game. However, the Gators struggled at times during the season, losing two games and failing to make it to the SEC Championship game. They did earn a spot in the Sugar Bowl, where they faced the Cincinnati Bearcats. Tebow once again delivered in the clutch, throwing for 482 yards and three touchdowns as the Gators won 
Despite the team's relative struggles, Tebow's leadership and his characters continue to shine through. He was known for his worth ethic, charitable efforts, and his unwavering faith, which he was widely respected both on and off the field. Tebow's senior season also earned him numerous accolades, including the Maxwell Award, which is given the best all-around player in college football. He was also a finalist for the Heisman Trophy, but ultimately finished third behind Alabama's Martin Ingram and Texas's Colt McCoy. Throughout his college career, Tebow was known for his athleticism, work ethic, and dedication to his team. He dominated games with both his arm and his legs, setting records in passing yards and rushing touchdowns. He was a dual threat in the pocket, with the ability to make plays with both his arm and his feet. Tim Tebow set numerous records during his time at Florida. He holds the SEC record for most career touchdowns responsible for, with 145. He also holds the SEC record for most rushing touchdowns in the season, with 23, and that's for the entire SEC, running backs included. Tebow revolutionized the quarterback position. He was the first quarterback to have a full pack of the skills. He could pass, run, and lead a team. He took a position built on traditional passing and running styles and added an extra dimension of playmaking ability. His skills made him a threat to opposing defenses, who had to adjust their strategy to account for his dual threat capabilities. He was also known for being able to make plays in the clutch, and his ability to lead by example was unrivaled. Tim Tebow's character set him apart from other great college quarterbacks. He was known for his strong work ethic, leadership, and commitment to his team. Tebow's leadership and motivation made him a fan favorite and he was voted the most popular college football player in 2008 and in 2009. He was known for his faith, which he openly expressed on and off the field. Tim Tebow's NFL career was a bit of a roller coaster ride, but it was filled with memorable moments and impressive accomplishments. Tebow was drafted by the Denver Broncos in the first round of the 2010 NFL Draft, and he quickly became a fan favorite thanks to his charismatic personality and his ability to make plays with his arm and his legs. In 2011, Tebow was named the starting quarterback for the Broncos, and he led the team on an incredible run. Despite his unconventional throwing motion and his perceived limitations as a passer, Tebow led the Broncos to a string of come-from-behind victories and a playoff berth. In the first round of the playoffs, Tebow delivered one of the most memorable moments of his career when he threw an 80-yard touchdown pass to Demarius Thomas on the first play of the overtime to beat the Pittsburgh Steelers. However, Tebow's success was short-lived, as the Broncos brought in future Hall of Fame quarterback Peyton Manning the following season. Tebow was traded to the New York Jets, but he struggled to find success in a backup role. After a brief stint with the Jets, Tebow bounced around the league, spending time in New England and with the Philadelphia Eagles. But despite all of his accomplishments in college, Tim Tebow's NFL career was not as successful. While he had some memorable moments, he never achieved that same level of success that he had in college. So why did Tim Tebow struggle in the NFL? Some have argued that his style of play, which relied heavily on his athleticism, was not well suited for the NFL. Others have pointed to his mechanics and accuracy as weaknesses. Well, the real reason he was not able to succeed in the NFL was his strengths rather than his weaknesses. In Florida, he had an amazing team that fitted his play style beautifully. His offensive line, which featured the Pouncing Twins, opened up many holes for Tebow to run. His tight end, Aaron Hernandez, was an absolute killer on and off the field. Percy Harvin and Riley Cooper caught any pass that was thrown to them. And don't get me started on the defense. Major Wright, Janoris Jenkins, Carlos Dunlap, Joe Hayden, Will Hill, Ahmad Black, the list goes on and on. These guys on the defensive side actually only led up 21 touchdowns all season in their 2008 National Championship run. When he came to the NFL, he didn't have a crazy offensive line, an insane defense, or a great head coach, or even a scheme that fit him. So he ended up becoming a bust. However, it isn't entirely his fault. We saw how he can shine in the NFL with Tebow time. In the fourth quarter, Tebow would light a fire under his team, leading them to miraculous comebacks to win the game several times. Despite his struggles in the NFL, there is no denying that Tim Tebow is one of the greatest college quarterbacks of all time. His accomplishments on the field, combined with his character and leadership off the field, make him a true legend of the game. So, who do you think is the greatest college quarterback of all time? Let us know down in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more great content.